all on fuel right now. I am like about to pee my pants. Yeah, there's no gas. I mean, you won't. You don't have gas for probably. Actually, there's a station coming up. There's a gas station coming up. Yeah, uh, Chevron after. or something, a small one. Yeah. 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 There's gas there. Yeah, the problem. <laughs> The problem is we can't make it there. We can make it. No. But we can make it to a charge station. We can make it to a charge station. So we're going to try to go for that. Yeah, you can make signs and say, hey, uh, you know, need gas traveling. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, right here. Look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look. I'm not to get on the gas at all. <laughs> Oh, we're wait, wait, wait. We're not sure if this thing works. <laughs> oh, it's, it's blinking green. No, it stopped. I don't know. It's finally doing something. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. 0.01 kilowatt. How many do we need? I don't know. Two hours later. Yes, we almost ran out of gas. We might be out of gas right now, actually. I don't really know. Amy found this electric charging station. Amy did what Amy does. She she finds stuff. So we've been charging electrically for about an hour, maybe a little bit more. We're trying to get 22 miles to the gas station, and right now we have 28 miles on charge, our range. The charge station was off the highway in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so and right we now. And we use precious fuel to get there. Wow. wow. Look at the range right there. Five miles. Talk about cutting this close. like in the corners and I'm sure they'll fix this thing quite a bit as well as far as you know making it a lot more smooth but we did get some ruts but in general it's pretty good. That's your press day for Fast Ready. Yeah! <laughs> That's it! Yay! Say hi to the camera and Ray. Okay, bye! Is this where you like want me to tell you what, my whole life story before I go to race or something? It's A3 morning, last West Coast round. We are at Chris and Jan's house right now. It's 8:12 on the dot. Heading out to the track. Let's start get this day started and uh, rip and ride. Hopefully, everything will go smooth sailing. Do the thing. Do the thing. With the hand. done here uh, a3 um, 21st overall which is actually the best qualifying I've done so far this year so I'm really happy about that first session I felt pretty good and then second session I didn't feel as good that time I didn't improve my lap time and I actually was running 19th and then I got bumped down a couple of spots to 21st so uh, overall though it's been a good day today uh, nothing crazy no falls nothing 
too, too gnarly. So uh, overall, good day. We've been playing around a little bit with settings. Uh, and we're actually ending up going back to what we started on pretty much as far as suspension goes. And uh, other than that, we're going to leave the bike. I'm heat number two, so it should be pretty fun. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Let's go. I was in a prime spot. I overstressed a little bit. And I washed out my rear end and that before the loop and I had to roll that double. And then I didn't take my time to set up the loops that I need to do to go through these sketchy loops. And I kinda didn't have that control in the loops and then I missed one at the end and then it was just just stupid rider error my end. I was fine. I mean, they were not far behind, but I was fine to chill through that section to just get through it and then just finish my lap. Not crashing is one thing. This is, I mean, it's amazing I've gone this long without having a major crash. This is my first major crash since I started this year. I haven't crashed before. This is my biggest crash. It's just all because of impatience. And that's what I'm at. Whole shot at LCQ riding good, kind of struggling a little bit, putting the track together and then just threw it away that last lap. I was running third and all I needed to do was just get a one clean lap and I didn't do that. But you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, can't go back now and change it. I spun out and actually in the corner before the whoops and that's what really held me up. But, um, but yeah, other than my pride being hurt, uh, Got a little road rash on my back. Got some, uh, some Mad Max 33 some on my back, but it's all good. We'll re regroup and we get ready for Minneapolis next weekend. Uh, and uh, yeah, continue the progress. It's been a good year so far, progressing a lot, so it's, I'm happy with that.